in this video, so what's up with the Warcry compendium anyway? So last video, I talked about the new edition of Warcry and the big box mainly, the Heart of Gur, and uh, it's about the kind of the rules and how they changed a little, but not too much, and I like the changes that they made. And I mentioned in that video that I would be talking about the compendium in my next video. Well, here we are, um, and we don't have a compendium. Uh, we were supposed to. There was supposed to be a compendium. I'm sure of it. There was even an article about it. I think at some point on Warhammer Community's website, it seems to be gone. Um, but instead, on, I don't know, the, whatever Friday was last week, 28th, 29th, I don't exactly remember, while I was streaming on Twitch, which I do on Monday nights and on, um, you know, uh, Wednesday or Friday mornings, but not this week because I'm in Gen Con as you're watching this, if you're watching it on the day that it launches. Anyway, long story short, during my stream, people started coming in saying, hey, uh, Warhammer Community's Twitter just announced that they're going to be releasing four PDFs of basically all of the Warcry compendium split up into the four, you know, Grand Alliances for free. So that's kind of weird, right? Well, it is indeed actually kind of weird. So, uh, well, what happened? Um, here's the thing. We'll never know. Do any of us really know what happened with Cursed City? Why it all of a sudden appeared and people could buy it and then there was none and then they just stopped talking about it and then all of a sudden it came back? If this was normal times, if we weren't living in the time in which we're living, I would blame Games Workshop for this. I'd be like, wow, this is a major mess up. You guys really screwed something up along the ways. But again, if it was 2018, 2019, I would definitely make that statement. But we've all seen what's been going on for the last two and a half years, you know, with the pandemic, with the global shipping crisis, with the global uh, supply chain problems. This is probably something that happened, and maybe it was on a boat coming from wherever, and the entire shipping container fell off the boat. I've seen video of that happening on rough seas or whatever. Who knows what it is? And again, like we, I said, we'll never know what the problem was. They have said it will come out later. And I believe that they mean a good deal later because they've decided to release the, all the stat blocks for all four of the main, or all four of the, um, you know, the, the Grand Alliances for free on PDF. Now, if you're watching this on the day it launches, which I think is the 5th of August, Friday, again, like I said, I'm at Gen Con. If you see me at Gen Con, say hello. Um, but it, as this goes live, all four of those PDFs are out. I am recording this before the PDFs come out. So, you know, anyway, at this point, as, you've, as you're watching this, you'll kind of know a lot of this because the PDFs will be available for you to download and start using, uh, you know, in your games of Warcry with the new... Well, I mean, honestly, honestly, you wouldn't even necessarily have to wait for the new version of Warcry to come out to be able to start using these new... Uh, stat blocks, you know, in these PDFs. Reason being is because all the stat block information, all of that stuff is going to be something that you'll be able to use even in the old version. The reaction thing, that's slightly different, but everything else you'll still be able to use because going from version one of Warcry to version two of Warcry was um, everything's backwards compatible, basically, as far as the actual rules are concerned. They just added a few new things with the new version, reactions, stuff like that. If you haven't seen my video about the new Warcry and the Heart, uh, Heart of Gur. Ciao, you should definitely check that out. One thing that I've been noticing going through and comparing the, the new stats to the old stats, and I find this really interesting, I have not yet found a single stat block that is the same as the old version. Now, again, we're talking about 800 plus of these things. I have not gone through all of them. I have a day job, and then I have to edit videos. and all. Yeah. But I've looked through a bunch, a bunch. Every once in a while, you'll find one where just the point cost changed, but nothing else in the stats changed. Nothing numerically changed at all in the stats. But in a lot of them, a lot of them, it's points and also stat changes. 
If you're interested, go over to the Warhammer community website, download all four of them, or just the one Grand Alliance that you play. If you only play one or the two or whatever you want, you've got it available to you. And you can start comparing it to your old stat blocks. And you can see what I mean. They have gone very deep. This is not just like a Toma Champions kind of uh, change where they're like, well, we're going to go through and tweak a bunch of points and see if that helps. They have done points changes on a lot, if not most all, but really it's the stat changes. Weapons working completely different as far as range. This used to be 3 to 20 inches. Now it's 3 to 15, or this having four attacks where it used to have three, or now it is uh, one five for damage where it used to be two five, or all kinds of different things. There's really surprisingly big, just massive changes to all of the different armies in here, um, all the different units in here. And I think that the reason for that is because they're trying to go through and really strictly rebalance the game. As a lot of people say online, a lot of people have talked about this, the Warcry-specific warbands. So, you know, Corvus Cabal, the Unmade, the uh, Iron Golems, um, the other ones. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them they keep coming out with. And, and, and more now with the new box and all that stuff. Plus, they've also announced those Chaos Legionnaires, which look pretty cool. So, there's a lot of Warcry-specific um, war bands. Now, for those of you that don't know, almost always, I believe, they then come up with Age of Sigmar lists, you know, like actual stats for those groups and use them basically as a single unit. So if you do decide you like those Warcry war bands, you can use them in Warcry, but you can also use them in Age of Sigmar. It's just a little bit of extra thing to know there. But a lot of people online for a long time have been saying that the Warcry specific war bands are very underpowered in comparison to a thousand points of the Age of Sigmar models coming from the four different books that they used to sell. Death, Destruction, Chaos, and Order. Now you're getting all those in PDFs and you are seeing that there have been some pretty massive changes. And I don't, I'm not going to sit here and say that they're for, the, for good or for ill. I think that my, my happy little um, Skaven Plague Monks are more points now which makes me a little sad because I think I have to take one more out of the, the actual list when I decide to do a thousand points. That's a bummer, but there's a, otherwise there are some models that have changed 20, 30, 40 points, you know, like some leaders and things like that. Um, and very frequently then there's been stat changes as well. So it's been a pretty massive, I don't want to say upset, but it definitely a massive sea change to make the game, hopefully, from what I understand from you know, talking to some folks at GW, more balanced across the board. And if there's any one tiny little smidgen of good, maybe, that's come out of everything that we've all been through the last couple of years, and this is a very, smid very, very small smidgen of good, um, free compendium, basically. You can download those PDFs. Like I said, they're at the Warhammer Community website, and they were releasing... I think Chaos maybe on, what was that, Order? I forget there, but they were releasing one a day, the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th of uh, August. If you're watching this on the 5th, it's all happened already, so it's fine, you know. Um, but it, you, let me know in the comments down below what kind of changes and like, you know, like has it, has it screwed with your, uh, your current lists? Has it made them better? Has it made them worse? Do you have to add more guys? Do you have to, you know take away folks from your current lists. You know, I mean, 1,000 points, everything's still 1,000 points. It's just all the points are very different now. But again, it's not just points like they've done in the past. It's also a lot of changes to the actual statistic numbers, the different stats. The stats are still the same. You still got strength and toughness and move and hit points and a number of attacks and range and all that stuff. But now a lot, a lot of the numbers have changed. The one thing that's still up in the air at this point, again, I'm sitting here uh, recording this on Sunday before the PDFs go live, but I've seen the information in, in another format. Uh, but one thing that I don't know yet is what about the Warhammer Underworlds models? I have been using, I've, I'm in the process of working on a bunch of taking those Warhammer Underworlds models that came from the Toma Champions 2021 and turning those into Warcry Warbands. I've already done it with um, some Gloomspite Gits, Ripa's Snarl Fangs, and Zarbag's Gits. Put those guys together. I've played those guys a couple of times now. I'm really enjoying that, that particular group. But from the stuff that I've seen, they're not in these new PDFs. Now again, they may be in these PDFs when this launches, and I don't know 
uh, because again, I'm filming this before the PDFs and I don't have access to the PDFs, but it's a long story. Um, all of that to say, if you don't have the Toma Champions 2021 and you want to run some of those Underworlds models, you may want to take a look for it out there at your local store. I did check on the website, at least the United States website, just before I filmed this, and that book doesn't seem to be listed on there anymore. So that's something to think about. Maybe if they don't end up in the PDFs for uh, this initial launch, that four day launch of the new Warcry PDFs and all that kind of stuff, maybe they'll release a PDF with the Toma Champion, uh, you know, just stats. Maybe they'll go through and change all the stats and the, the points kind of like they did with the compendium, and maybe we'll see that soon. But on the other hand, they could just. Uh, you know, be messing with me and put them into the PDFs that you're already able to look at. It's it's hard to record these things in advance, and then I you know I wouldn't necessarily be this far in advance. But like I said, Gen Con. So if you're interested in a physical copy and an actual you know like well I was gonna say hardcover, but it's not a hard copy. Hopefully we'll see that sometime. Who knows when in the future it'll actually show up in you know stores and websites and all those places, but. Evidently, it, that's far enough out that they decided, hey, we need to release these on PDFs now. Also, hopefully, the actual core rulebook will come out soon, too, because it, from what I understand, isn't coming out with the release of the Heart of Gerbox. Like, if you buy the Heart of Gerbox, the core book is in there. But if you just wanted to buy the core book separately, and then you got your PDFs that you can use, I'm not sure when that's coming, but I've been told soon, which seems to be sooner than the actual printed version of the compendium. So I hope that this helps. I hope this helps if you've been on the fence about thinking about getting into Warcry. Well, very possibly you kind of got yourself, yourself basically a free compendium with these four you know, different PDFs. So that, that's, that's going to maybe hope, hopefully help you think about it even a little bit harder. It's a great game. Uh, Warcry is the, the, the GW game that I play these days, the only one. And I really enjoy it. So again, like I said in the last video, you'll be seeing some more content about it here. I was talking with Sam, as a matter of fact, yesterday. And uh, we're going to probably do some video stuff after I get back from Gen Con, talking a little bit more about the new Warcry. And I don't know, we'll see who owes the, who that $5 from that other video in which that bet was placed. But ciao, you can check that out as well. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you click the little like thing down there. Uh, it helps the, the channel quite a bit and it doesn't cost nothing. If you want to subscribe, especially if, we're gonna, looking, if you're looking forward to some new uh, Warcry content, you can click that as well. Thanks for watching.